ready for another day, Diesel? Are you ready for another day? It's a Friday, the best kind of day. Sometimes. Sometimes Saturdays are better. I dare say it, sometimes even Mondays are better. That's usually on a long weekend. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Trucker Josh. If you're new, uh, I make videos here on the internet of my life as a truck driver up in the Great White North in Southern Manitoba, in Western Canada. As you can tell, it's starting to get cold out. We actually had snow yesterday. It all melted already. It's not on the ground anymore. Thank goodness. It has turned back to water the way it should be. I have another load here of these reels that I have right beside me. I'm going to put them on my trailer. I'm going to bring them down to Wapton, North Dakota. Then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to book it home. Grabbing fuel on the way home and no other stops other than that if I don't have to. You can see my buddy Pedro there is getting loaded. This is Brian in front of me here. He's got a load that he's actually delivering here. I don't know if he's picking up one too or if he's just delivering. And then uh, behind that white truck, I don't know who that white truck is. He, uh, blocking the entrance a little bit there. Uh, behind him, parked in the spot where you're supposed to wait to get into the yard, is Mike. So Mike is, and uh, right there you get the third spool or the third roll, I guess, not a spool. It's a roll you can throw on his trailer. Then as soon as uh, he's got it tied down and out of there, uh, I'm sure they'll pull me in or Mike, whoever they're ready for first. And uh, they'll throw the six on me as well. And then you know what it is, it's hammered down Friday. Hammered down Friday, I gotta try to catch them and beat them. <laughs> That's my goal for today. <laughs> Be the first one, even though I'm getting loaded last. We'll see what I can do. I gotta stop for coffee yet, so I'm probably not gonna catch up with them. Most of them, the these guys are smart. They make coffee in their truck. I haven't got a coffee maker for in here yet. I want to get a special one. I don't have any room to, room to put a, a regular coffee maker. Like, where am I gonna put it, right? I mean, Weasel, you could make me coffee. That would be nice. Make yourself useful. But where would I put it, right? Like, this is my table, and my computer is in there. I need to keep this space free. But I guess I could temporarily put it there in the morning. But then where would I store it? I'd have to store it up there somewhere. It's possible. It's possible. One day I'll have my own coffee maker in here. But uh, it's got to be one that uh, works with my truck because most coffee makers, they draw too much power. And i got to get myself a bigger inverter for that first. But everything in time. But yeah, they make coffee in their truck in the morning. So once they're loaded, they're gone. I don't know if they got, they probably got breakfast and food in their truck too. I mean, he's got the T680, right? And the T680 is like a condo on wheels. I've shown you them in my past videos before. So he's got lots of room in there. Big fridge. I don't even have a fridge in my truck. I just have a, a little cooler, which is all I need. Eventually one day I'll put a fridge in. But yeah, he's got his breakfast and his coffee. He just goes straight there, right? And me, once I get loaded, I stop in Winkler yet at Timmy's. <laughs> and I grab a coffee and breakfast there. It's my one treat of the day. That's my Uncle Rudy. Looks like he's loaded up. I don't know where he's going with those. I've never hauled those specific kinds before. He's going somewhere else than, than, than me. All right. We have our load on behind us. I have it tied down. We're ready to rock and roll, as they say. Oh, let's get out of here. This will be the last one from what I've heard. Unless if that changes suddenly over the weekend, but it looks like we'll be doing something different next week. Kind of sad. I kind of like this run. But hey, I haven't heard confirmation yet, so maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get sent back here again. But it is getting cold out and it started snowing yesterday already, which means that uh, they're running out of time to get this drain tile into the ground before it freezes. So all good things must come to an end, right? It's fun while it lasted.
Okay, so I'm quite a ways behind Pedro and uh, and Mike. Mike just left, so I'm not too far behind him, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch Pedro today unless he stops somewhere for a break, and that's not like him. He usually just gives her. That's okay, that's okay. Hope you're all having a good day wherever you are when you're watching this go down below to the comment section let me know where you're watching this from i love doing this every now and then it really gives me a perspective of how far my videos make it out there in the world and a few decades ago people would be blown away that somebody in europe or australia could be watching a canadian on their phone on a little tv screen wherever they are right a hundred years ago would have blown their minds. Now I can talk to you wherever you're at, instantly. I've got a string dragging behind me. I'm gonna have to deal with that. I'm gonna pull over here and go figure out what's going on. See a string dragging behind my last, my last roll there. Stop here real quick. Throw my outside shoes on. What is going on here? Boy. Oh, what's this? Oh. Okay. All right, well. Anybody need some twine? I got some twine. This could probably actually come in useful. I'm gonna keep it. It's mine now. Hey, look what I found, Diesel. Very nice, man. Finders keepers, right? Super cool, cause best dad ever. I know, right? Might be able to use it one day. That is the code of men. Might be able to use it one day. Put that up there for now. Bring that to the shop. Okay. Diesel, you want to roll up the straps this time? You haven't done it once. I mean, I wasn't going to call you out on the vlog, but you've been slacking, man. I've been doing the majority of the work. And the driving. It's the last time we got to roll these straps up, and then I got to bring this trailer back to work. And we'll be on to something else tomorrow. I mean, on Saturday. I mean, on Monday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Tomorrow we will be 
not working. We will be doing other things. Enjoying our leisure time. Is that how you say it? Leisure? Leisure. I've heard some people call it leisure. Enjoy our weekend. Just getting myself in a position here. We're going to get these rolls off. I'm just going to fuel up in Fargo on the way home yet again and uh, start bugging the load gods as soon as I'm empty here about what I'm doing next week so I can prepare myself in the truck and figure out what I need. They're harvesting potatoes over there. I know that because I'm a farmer. Farm Simulator 22. That's it for the week and that's it for these loads for me. Diesel, you want to go home? Well, I got a hold of the load gods. And as of right now, there's no plan for Monday yet. So we got a little bit of time today. Well, we'll see, we might be able to sleep in on Monday. I'm sure it'll work out. Something will come up. It always does. Let's worry about that on Monday. Today's got enough things to worry about, like getting home as fast as legally possible. Did you fart, Diesel? Good boy. Wow, that was a good one. Wow. Woo! Crack the window, man. Jeez. I'll get you back, don't worry. I've got a four hour ride home yet. All right, back in Fargo, North Dakota at the Flying J, fueling up. So if you remember from yesterday, we we had filled up for, uh, we had driven 884 kilometers, which is what, 518, 520 miles. We had burnt 90 gallons of fuel, US gallons, and 340 liters of diesel fuel. Costed us $656 for that day of driving Canadian, $476 US. Today, we drove the exact same distance, same load, same freight, same everything. We had the wind on our side today, pushing us south. So we saved a lot of fuel. Yesterday, we averaged 6.1 miles per gallon. Today, we averaged 7.22 miles per gallon. We burnt 76 gallons instead of 90, 287 liters instead of 340. Drove the exact same amount, and it costed us $402 US instead of $476, $559 Canadian instead of $656. So almost $100 of Canadian, $100 Canadian dollars of savings today just by having that wind on our side helping push us south. Saved $100 doing that. And that's the report for today. It's Friday. It's not every week that we get to compare day to day doing the exact same stuff over and over, right? Next week will be something different again. 7.2 miles per gallon today. I'm happy with that. Ah, 
yes. So what do you guys think? You think the scale will be open on a Friday night? Think there's any common decency left? Oh, I know Old Blue, don't worry, don't worry, we'll be okay. I'm empty, so I should be able to just scoot across. And then it's about an hour and 15 minutes back to our yard where I'm gonna leave this trailer and all the equipment that I was using on it That's uh, that belongs to work. All those two-inch straps. I'm gonna take this lane. And then from there we can bobtail back to my shop. So what's the time now? It's seven o'clock, 7.15. I'll be back at 8.15, 8.30, be out of nine. I'll be home before midnight. Probably between 10 o'clock and midnight. But as it stands right now, I don't have anything to do first thing Monday morning. But uh, I'll make sure that I'm ready to go anyway, just in case I get the call. Because when they need me, I want to be ready to go. And would you look at that? Our lucky day. A closed scale. On a Friday. The way it should be on a Friday. Fantastic. Haven't been in this yard in a while. I've got to drop my trailer here and leave, like I told you before, I gotta leave those pallets on there, the cardboard, all the two inch straps, just like that over there. There's another group of guys that's gonna continue on with this next week while we do something else. What's uh, the other group being our group of guys, but we're sort of being rotated around so everybody gets uh, switched up every now and then. Keeping everything equal and fair, I'm sure. All oh, those trailers are close together. Whew. Thanks. Is there any space for me? Hey! Nobody left a spot for Trucker Josh? How about this one? Anything in there? Oh, it's tight. Is there no other spots? got to be another spot. How about over here? It is Friday. Oh! Okay, looks like we're taking the narrow spot then. Actually, you know what? I think I saw a spot over here. Now that I think of it. I think there was a spot on this side. I just don't like to leave empty trailers on this side if there's space on that side, but... Whoever left that spot there, I could probably get my trailer in there if I had to. It'd just be super tight. Tight. And this one here, that's... Nope. That's unacceptable. Can't fit anything in there. Look at all these loads that have to go somewhere. Thanks. Maybe I'll be doing some of these next week. Thought I saw a spot over here. I, I'm pretty sure I saw a spot. Oh, it's all the way on the end here. Oh, that's why it's open, because it, it's a tough one to get into. <sighs> okay, we're going for the narrow spot. What do you think, Diesel? Do you approve of my decision? Absolutely, man. You're the boss. You're the captain, man. You think we could do it? I believe in you. Thanks, Diesel. I appreciate your support. Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We are gonna squeak our trailer in here. It's gonna be tight. Wish me luck.
pretty tight. I did the best I could. I left myself enough space here to crank. And it looks a little close up here, but I left enough space back here where the crank is so that they can crank up those legs, but it will be tight. And whoever has to hook up onto uh, this van trailer, if it leaves before this trailer does, is gonna be grumbling a little bit. You're welcome. <laughs> Whoever's taking that one. I left you enough space, okay? Don't tell me you can't roll up them, those dollies. I left you enough space. Okay, I'm gonna detach, leave this trailer here with all that stuff on it, and uh, take my tarps. I'm gonna let diesel run around a little bit over there on the on the asphalt. It's a little bit muddy over here. I don't want him to get all muddy and track that into the truck. Got those tarps there. Just gotta tie them down there with my straw. Got all the equipment for this load right here. This is my video of record showing that I put it exactly where they told me to put it. Cardboard, pallets, straps, and two inch ratchets. All right. Let's tie these things down. I'm gonna let Weasel run around a little bit yet. It's been a little while since he's been able to stretch his legs. I've got these steps on Amazon, if you're wondering, I keep getting asked. They're called Pet Loader. Pet Loader, one word. You can look them up there, they have all kinds of different sizes. I've actually seen that uh, Trucking with Schmidt on his channel. He's got similar ones for his dog, Opie, right? But they're much narrower, narrower and lighter by the looks of it. Kinda wanna figure out where he got those. He probably mentioned them in a video, but I haven't found that video yet. I wouldn't mind getting one like he has. It uh, takes up less space and they look a lot lighter. We got the weasel over here. I put on his little reflective harness. Gotta follow the rules, right, Diesel? If anyone's wondering, that's his patch of grass right there now. Okay. Uncontested, Diesel. It's all yours. Let's get away from the garbage can, Diesel. No, no, no. I purposely took you over here because that's that's where the pavement is. No, Diesel. Come here. Come here. Kids, I tell you. Eh? I know, everyone's just saying, saying to me right now, you just wait. We got a skin puppy on the way. Those are much harder. And they can talk back. Eventually, from what I hear. Let's stay on the asphalt, okay? Okay. You're running on the grass once we get home. I'm trying to keep his paws clean. You ready? We're all gonna chase you. And go! Time to go home, Diesel. Come on. It's time to go home. Diesel, hey, you already claimed that ditch. I'm gonna do it again, just to make sure they know it was mine. Diesel. Okay, it's for sure yours now. Good job. Come on, let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on, I got the door here. Come on, up, up. Good boy. Sure is still full here every weekend. You guys see Ernie's truck right over there? It's a nice green Peterbilt. I want to get an air ride front suspension like that. It looks so awesome. Looks like most 
these people are home for the weekend. Why you look so excited, Diesel? Why are you smiling? Where are you going home? <laughs> hold on, bud. Hold on. We're going to empty out the truck. Get it cleaned out. Get everything in the pickup. This floor tape is a godsend. First try, every try. Straight. Oh, so nice. I think Diesel really wants to go home. Come on out. That a boy. It was a good week, old blue. Short week, because it was a long weekend last weekend. You did good. You did really good. Made me proud. You have a good rest now, okay? You're all tucked in. It's time for bed. Have a good weekend. Inside this door awaits my welcome from all the dogs. Diesel, you want to be a part of this too? Oh yeah. Oh, mom has the door locked because she's smart. Oh, I think I hear her. <gasps> Chevy! Vina! Are you working at me? He was protecting me. Oh. <laughs> I saw you in the window. You didn't even bark at me. You could be Good boy, you're getting better. Getting better at controlling yourself. <laughs>